Hello. What I'm going to show you today is a new plugin, a new functionality for Gibscam, and it's called Import Image. So the purpose of this plugin is to be able to import a logo type or an image and from the bitmap file that the image is create geometry and contours so you can actually do machining from a logo type. And the starting point we have is a image, it's black and white. The uh, reason for this is that I want to have good contrast between the background and the foreground because this makes it easier to create good and sharp contours out of these letters and the illustration. And also the image is high resolution, so even if you zoom in you see that it still keeps a, a good contour. The image size uh, in this case is 3000 pixels and the uh, resolution is 300 dpi and this is this is actually as i said this is a good starting point try to keep the image high resolution when you have this image you would save it as a bitmap or a jpeg or an svg file and after this it's time to go into gibscam launch the import image pick the image you want to have open and gibscam will start the vectorizing process and uh, vectorizing means that it's actually calculating from the bitmap the pixels in the image it's creating geometry and contours and lines okay so what it's done now is actually created the outside contour if we zoom in this is the outside contour but it's also giving you an extra contour which is pretty useful because now you could go engraving on the outside contour and pocketing if you like on the inside contour pretty nice so what we'll do now in order to machine this is that we'll actually first of all set the stock size and I want to have the stock set 0 to set minus 10 which means we have a plate that is 10 millimeters thick okay after this I would go get my processes and I'd say I'd like some pocketing first of all I get the tool and I get the pocketing process so I zoom in again and I would be picking now the contours that I need to machine which would be this one perhaps this one let's take the inside one <coughs> and um, let's take this one too so so we have three contours for pocketing and then do it and we have the toolpath so what you could do also besides pocketing is of course uh, letters one by one you could actually go and select the entire image and all the shapes like this and uh, when that is done you could say redo it and it would actually pocket the entire area outside of the letters and inside of the inside contour well this is a bit difficult to see on screen before we start simulation so let's do some simulation okay see this is what's happening now we we will get the area between the inside contour and the outside contour will be the letter itself and the rest will be machined with the pocketing routine and if you don't like this one uh, this look of the logo you could uh, remove this one and uh, let's replace it with a traditional pocketing and contouring which would look something like this i would select the outside contour let's pick this one too and I would instead of the pocketing process I would be using a contouring process okay and do it and in this case the simulation would well that was a bit fast so let's slow it down the simulation now shows that it's only machining the outside contour if this is what you're looking for so based on a simple bitmap image and a one click click import system we now have the ability to machine really complex logo types really fast and easy thank you